The name of this project is uh, Neomorphosis. It consists basically on uh, uh, flexible uh, CNC uh, for work, controlled uh, from the computer uh, through digital valves. It can give uh, variability. This is uh, the, the machine that is controlling, uh, in this case, uh, six balloons, the inflation and deflation of six balloons through these valves with servo motors. These, uh, these balloons are then connected uh, to this kind of uh, formwork and have the membrane uh, between them. So they, uh, when they change the, sh the size, the, the membrane changes the shape and you can pour the material inside. Basically the application uh, uh, can uh, vary depending on the uh, size, uh, uh, obviously, of the formwork, but also uh, the organization of the inflatables and the form of the membrane. So we can have squares or hexagons or rhombus, uh, but we can also have this kind of uh, uh, organization where there is a space inside created uh, by, the, by the balloons themselves. Uh, or we can uh, create holes on the panels. Uh, with traditional formwork, we have a uh, uh, for each uh, new shape, we have to do uh, the different mold. So in this case, for example, uh, there is 15 uh, pieces and they are all different. Uh, we would have to do 15 uh, different molds and there is a big amount of waste and uh, energy. So uh, the proposal is that we, with this mold, we can have uh, all these uh, pieces uh, made by one only one mold with different uh, configura configuration of the inflatables controlled by the computer. Uh, uh, models we made uh, is uh, are these ones that uh, have straight borders because uh, they were made with the two boxes uh, and with the balloons inside. Uh, in this case, we realized that uh, here we can make uh, uh, holes on the surface when the two uh, balloons are very close to each other and they touch, so they don't uh, let the material enter this uh, space. Uh, and, uh, and also we realized that uh, there is an issue of gra gravity because uh, when, the, when the material dries it tends to go down and it's thicker on this side. Uh, so the next step was uh, basically to uh, free the, this uh, border, straight border. Uh, so we had some experiments with the latex membrane and uh, like in this case, uh, vertical guides, so we can uh, move the membrane through these guides and uh, change the level, uh, the Z level of the model.